Hello, we are Memphis Community University. This is our intro video to an intro to proof-based math. And what is proof-based math? Well, what this is, is it's the math beyond your typical math classes that you might take in high school, whether that be um, Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry, Pre-Calculus, and Calculus. Also, in your it's sort of the math classes in college that engineers take, pre-meds take, and things like that, uh, people like that. For example, Calculus 1, Calculus 2, Calculus 3, differential equations, linear algebra. So what proof-based math is, is um, really the theoretical side of math, really what true math is, the more interesting math, as you'll see. Much more interesting than this sort of calculus level uh, math. And what it is, is instead of sort of following formulas that, that you might do or following methods that you might apply in calculus, what you're doing is you're sort of discovering math for yourself. You're starting off with definitions and you're building up definitions um, with theorems and you're proving theorems for yourself, for your own good, so that you're discovering it. And you'll see that there's, it, math can be quite beautiful as we go through this series. So um, while I am a calculus teacher and I'm better at teaching calculus than this sort of math uh, class, I teach this to um, my seniors who take BC as a junior, so they are have one sort of year of math, and I like to introduce them to this topic, uh, to this sort of series. And what happens is you will see that while this is a little bit unfamiliar to you potentially, it's certainly very accessible for those students that uh, just finished calculus or want to be prospective math majors and want to see what quote unquote real math is like. So in this math series, what I use, I use uh, Richard Hammack's, uh, so this is Richard Hammack's book, Book of Proof, the second edition, and many of our videos are constructed from those uh, books. We modify the examples a little bit, but uh, if you want, if you're looking to uh, sort of a good book, a good introduction to proof-based math, I definitely recommend Richard Hammack's book. I believe there's a third edition by now, uh, Book of Proof, and it'll give you a good introduction. So what might be covered in this video series? So I sort of listed out the topics here before us. So you'll see videos on each of these things. Uh, the video series itself is 30 videos long. So first off, we have to start off with sets. So we introduce sets and all the properties that deal with sets, subsets, power sets, unions, intersections, complements, differences, and index sets. Then we talk about counting, and counting is harder than it might sound. We count lists, we count subsets, whether order matters and whether order doesn't matter. We see the relationship between factorials and binomial theorem and counting, and then we conclude by counting uh, unions of things that involve inclusion and exclusion. Then after we do all these videos, so that's actually a third of the series basically, we are ready for actual proofs. So we start off with proofs that are direct proofs, so we directly prove something, and you'll see how that works. And what we do is we use definitions and of certain mathematical concepts. Uh, the ones we focus on are even and odd integers, division of integers, congruence of integers, and then we have some miscellaneous direct proofs, and we'll use those constantly. So we're using definitions to prove certain things, and we're using uh, mathematical objects and their definitions. Then we sort of talk about various proof methods, proof by contrapositive, proof by contradiction, if and only if statement, whether that be um, both sides are one of these three types. Then we prove existence proofs, um, also uniqueness proofs. Then we have proofs involving sets. So we prove that one set is a subset of another set, and we prove that two sets are equal. We then have this proofs, and then we uh, conclude with, of course, math um, proof by mathematical induction. Then we talk about two concepts. Um, we talk about relations and uh, we talk about the properties of relations, the main ones being, of course, reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. Then those property, if a relation has those three properties, those are equivalence relations, so we practice those. Then we see the relationship between partitions and equivalence classes and equivalence relations, and we give the example of integers modulo n. Finally, we end our series on functions. Uh, we talk about the properties of functions, mainly being injective and surjective, which implies bijective. Then we talk about composition of functions and inverses. And finally, we end our series with a nice discussion of countability, countability infinite versus uncountable sets. So that's really the series. And again, what's the point of the series? The series is, again, an intro to proof-based math. So really, it's sort of the preliminary step before a more exciting, more interesting math course. So it's sort of the bridge from the classes you might be familiar with, calculus, pre-calculus, trigonometry, linear algebra, linear algebra, something like that, to a more proof-based math course versus a method and formula-based math course like calculus. Um, 
So classes that you might take or after you watch this video series, you might be taking topology, you might be taking um, basic analysis, basic algebra, abstract algebra like group theory, uh, combinatorics, graph theory, topology, math courses like that. Um, so we hope that this video series is useful and it helps you sort of um, the most the it helps them uh the person that helps the most sorry i can't talk but the person that helps the most is that prospective math major who wants to go beyond the typical math classes that they might have covered in a high school level uh just keep in mind that sometimes uh, if you watch my videos you'll see that they're quite wordy as this intro video is um i'm not as an expert as i am when i teach calculus i teach calculus mainly four of the classes that i teach out of five are usually calculus so i've, I've taught it a lot longer and i'm a lot more knowledgeable in terms of assessments and things like that. But I do prefer this proof-based math um, as a uh, former math major. And you'll see that hopefully, uh, you'll see that this proof-based math is more beautiful, more interesting than sort of calculus classes. And even if the explanations are sometimes a little bit wordy, sometimes you can't read my handwriting, things like that, we hope that these videos are useful for you and you sort of get a nice exposure to proof-based math through these videos. But uh, thanks for watching our videos. Of course, we appreciate your support of our channel. And we hope to see you in some of these videos uh, later in the future. Uh, thanks again for watching.